We're in a 2016 Ford F-150. I'm going to do the uh, one plug remote starter solution that activates the OEM remote starter built into uh, this vehicle. I'm going to show you where we are relative to the diagnostic plug. So this is called a gateway module. We're going to need to unplug the plug at the gateway module. There's a clip that we must press to be able to release the plug. Clip is on the bottom. Okay, so we've unplugged the gateway module plug. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug our device into the gateway plug. Now we're going to plug our gateway plug back into the gateway. Okay, with our device plugged in, there's a very quick programming routine we're going to use to program the device to the vehicle or pair it with the vehicle. To program our device, we're going to remove the plugs. We're going to locate the data plug on our device and the programming button. We're going to hold our program button down while plugging in the four pin data plug. When we do this, the lights are going to illuminate on our device. We're gonna release when we see a solid blue LED. Release the button. If we release on any other color, we can unplug it and do it over. If we miss the blue light when it comes on, we can keep the button down. It'll cycle through all three colors and eventually go back to blue. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redo our plug-in. We've released on blue. I'm gonna plug in our one white plug on the other side. And at this point, we're ready to program the device. We need to insert the OEM key in the ignition and turn the ignition to the run position. The blue light will go out. It will come back on and flash rapidly. At this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut the key off and remove it from the ignition. And we're going to activate the remote starter by locking the doors three times. We can turn the remote starter off by locking the doors three times as well. This solution will not activate the menu system built into the vehicle, but it will perform a successful remote start and activate the heat of the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate the remote start again. We've locked it three times. The vehicle is up and running. When transitioning to driving the vehicle on the key, you want to place the key in the ignition, turn the ignition to the run position, apply the brake to turn off our device. If we do not apply the brake and we turn off the ignition without turning off the device, the vehicle will shut off and it will restart. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it do that and then I'm gonna show you the correct way to take over. So we're gonna put the key in, we're gonna turn it to run, and our device needs to see the brake pedal applied to release or turn off. So I've I've applied the brake, the device is now off. We would be able to drive the vehicle, and if we shut the vehicle off, the engine will shut off and stay off. So with this device, if you don't apply the brake after putting the key in and turning it on, you're not, you're not operating the system correctly. The vehicle will restart because we haven't released the remote starter. There's no other way for this device to tell whether you're in it with a key on other than you pressing the brake pedal. So again, we do have a one plug solution for this vehicle. It's coming in a lot, priced a lot less than the competitors. But another thing we can do is we can do a one plug telematic solution. 
which means you can control your vehicle from the smartphone with just this one plug and this device.